Bird delivery right here. And then the cocoa for the things. We got all the lava for the uh, stairs. That's real pretty. Lawan. on. We got the plywood, three eighths inch and half inch. Got a cocoa wood coming. This is the delivery truck here. So, yeah. And uh, is that it? Is there more? Huh? I guess you're getting the good stuff and the bad stuff. This is the rough stuff here. So, getting the stuff that works. And we, I gotta go help unload all this stuff. So we will be back with more in my paradise. Tell them I don't want that. I don't want that. That's no good. That's no good. No, I'm not gonna take that. No, that's no good. Yeah. Yeah, no, don't give me the trash. Look at that. That's trash. That's firewood. That's oling. <laughs> give me the trash wood. Okay, so anyway, you got to reject it if it ain't no good. So, anyway, I'm going to uh, go count the stuff and see if we got the good stuff or not. And we'll be back with more. We got a bunch of wood from my paradise on Italian Island. Bye for now. Number one. You ready? Mm -hmm. No, I don't have your mask. Everybody, here is the first cut of the three cut boat. And what we're doing, because I got a diesel engine in here, normally they'll take this piece of wood that goes on this layer and they'll notch it here and then they'll bring it inside here and go across six inches from here. But I'm going another, uh, actually two feet. Yeah, I'm, I'm going two feet. So we have a full overlap from here and this is where the engine is. So that's why we're going to double that up. Uh, and it's a diesel, so uh, like I said before, uh, you really want to have a sturdy boat for a diesel because they do shake and vibrate more sometimes, at, especially at low RPMs. Yeah, so they're notching it out, getting it on here, and uh, marking it. And again, it'll stick out like you know, like those do over there. You know, they had a little fighter fighter jet wing look so they're gonna yeah. so anyway we will they're gonna mark all these and, and, and then I gotta cut it I'm this I'm the uh, I call it skill saw guy but circular saw guy I'm the one that cuts all the wood here uh, they're used to using power tools and uh, I've used them since I was 12 years old so uh, doing uh, I would go to my dad's uh, business. Uh, he was the superintendent of the 
the, the company that uh, built signs and uh, so I could go out in the shop and use all their power tools and stuff and uh, make little plastic swords and wooden things and stuff so I did that since I was 12 so and I worked for him too for many many years uh, going through college and uh, high school some number so I got a lot of it and home remodeling with him so anyway it's a long story but now I am a boat supervisor <laughs> and we are supervising this trimaran three cut boat build and of course these guys they're actually really good and they tell me stuff too they they give me all the tips and stuff I just know what the shapes and sizes that I need and a little bit of stuff about how I want to make the stairs and stuff because they never put stairs on a boat so anyway that's what I'm here for so we will be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island we are building a three cut trimer in back right, now we're putting the cuts on now this is the first cut that we just did and it fits perfectly and now we're going to put another second cut honey you want to help him we're going to slide this one on top and that should slide in here and not the end the problem is that they put that uh cross brace too high so they're going to have to move it yeah. third cut on now that was the first cut second cut third cut and then there's actually going to be a front big front piece that goes on here like uh, that one there that goes all the way to the the tip of the boat there pretty much so they're marking this one up so that we get them all right I angled these a little bit more so they look more like a fighter jet and a rocket ship one of those <laughs> so anyway we are building a rocket fighter Three cut primer in. We'll be back with more for my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now. Hey everybody. The spaceship or fighter jet trimaran is about well we're we're getting the uh the wings on it here or the actual cuts, the plywood in other words, but those little angles will look like a fighter jet, doesn't it? Looks Looks like to me. I was in the Air Force, so I wouldn't know. So anyway, what we do, we're overlapping from here all the way up to here. Normally they'll overlap about six inches, like about here. But I said let's just overlap all the way up, uh, and then uh, because I've got heavy diesel engines in this, not uh, gasoline. Gasoline are much more lighter and they vibrate less. But the diesels, they have a lot more torque and a lot more thump when they. Uh, when they run so anyway this is how they layer a three cut boat so we will be back with more three cut boat layering from my paradise on Bentayan Island bye for now hey everybody we are applying the epoxy to the first I don't know if it's the first cut or what there's already three plywoods here, but I think these, they call these the cuts, but the, the front, just, it doesn't count. But I would call that a four cut. But anyway, we're putting the epoxy on here, and then that pointed, TP looking thing, that actually lays on here and then gets nailed all down and bent and rolled into the front. And then we cut it off like that one right there. You see that cut there? That cut right there? We cut it off. And then that becomes the first, the first one. And he's leveling this out with his plane, making it all flat. 
so that it's uh, easy to easy to do here. So we are going to, honey, where's your putty knife? Okay. So anyway, I'm going to dive in here and help, and we'll be back with more. It's not putty; it's e epoxy. So we'll be back with more epoxy in the three cut trimaran. From my paradise on Medallion Island. Bye for now. Everybody likes to get their hand in this. I don't know why. It's like kids uh, finger painting or something. Bye for now. If you're wondering how we get the tip down, we rope that bad boy down. We lasso it, and then they just keep pulling it until it until it conforms. Yeah. And did they want to know where the six foot line is? They'll like lasso it, tie it down, then wrap it a few times, and then that'll hold it. So they're going to tack it in here with a, a nail at the very tip. Honey? Okay, so anyway, I'm going to measure this six foot because that one goes out, uh, I think, six feet or something like that. There's something six feet that would okay. We'll let them. Oh, what he's doing is putting the hammer there because the plywood keeps bouncing and he can't get them else to go in with it. It's like a diving board, basically. So now he's got it in there. So now, check this out. They're going to lasso it, pull it tight like that. Cinch it down. Is it cracking? Cracking's not good, but. They'll cut it off uh, before the end there, just like that one. It's it's cut off right there. You can see it. They'll cut this one off too. But for now, they want to get it all as far as they can go. And that is what's happening. So anyway, we will be back with more lassoing a trimaran for my paradise on Bentayan Island. We got the cuts on. Bye for now. Ready? We got the bottom on this hole and uh we got all the cuts done we got this strapped down with ropes i think you just saw that and then we gotta let all the epoxy dry uh, overnight and then we come back and finish this off uh we got like four inch wide uh, cuts here but i'm gonna chain them down to two it's the same as this both it this got two cuts here so i'm gonna move this one down to two so that they match so uh, after the epoxy dries i'm just uh saw two inches there are four right now, so I'll just basically saw these in half. The front one uh, is about four inches. The front one there is about three and a half. So I'm probably just leave it like it is. So anyway, here's the inside. We're overlapping each one completely. Uh, so each uh, cut is four feet long. So that one, even though the outside is two feet long, it overlaps all the way to this one. This one here overlaps all the way to this one. This one here overlaps two feet up here so uh pretty sturdy sturdy hull so uh i should have done some overlapping here but i don't know really how to do that because it doesn't <laughs> doesn't work out like that so um and this is the part that may hit a rock although you know something that's going to crack the hull but the main thing is is the diesel engine back here that's a that's a heavy uh and and at low rpm just uh uh, rough idle so vibration you know dun, 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 like like that so you, you got to beef them up for diesel so that's what we did so we have this one done today and working getting this one prepped here we got some a piece of one piece of the wood cut uh here and uh we uh are uh, they're epoxying this stuff here Epoxying the underside here, see all along there, because when you build this, you can't see what's under the top. That's the top. This is the bot bottom. You, you can't see see that. So when we flip flip it, that's our chance to go back and uh, do a nice uh, epoxy job uh, on the the inside there. So they got that done. They got this all smooth. He took a grinder and ground this down smooth and everything. The same with uh, that one there. And we are it's about 4:15 now. I don't know what we're gonna 
get involved in usually they knock off at about five so we'll see how enthusiastic they are to uh, dive into uh, starting another project sort of kind of a thing putting the bottom on this so we will be back with more from my paradise on Italian Island Oh, the other thing that I got to do too, after the epoxy dries, you see where all the, the bronze nails came through? Right there. I don't know if you can see those. I'll, I'll move in a little closer, but see right there, all the bronze nails came through. Those are the bronze nails when we nail through. So I've got to take an angle grinder and a cutting disc and, you know, slice those off and then epoxy them. And we got a couple of rows of those that we got to do. So tomorrow I'll... I'll, I'll do that. Also, any other nails that came through on the sides, like right here. See those nails there? They're barely popping through. I just take the cutting disc on an angle grind grinder and just and and it just real not because they're bronze. They're soft, so it's easy to uh, uh, cut with the angle grinder. It's not like a steel nail. So anyway, we got this done. This one. I mean, we still got to put the stairs on the back here. So that may be a project tomorrow, or maybe we'll just deal with that tomorrow, and then the stairs uh, maybe Thursday. So we'll be back with more from my paradise on Italian Island. We're building boats, building a trimaran, a three-cut trimaran. <laughs> And we'll be back with more from My Paradise on Bentayan Island. The kids are out to play now, so this is actually a, uh, a volleyball court where we're building the boats. So normally just their playground, and we've uh, kind of uh, commandeered it to, to build a boat. So we'll be back with more kids and trimarans from My Paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now.